super annoyed. See that you're annoying. <laughs> Bit busy. Divination. Converge and awaken! My oath is to a solitary beauty is eternal! I have no interest in conflict. Truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. The sanctuary is but a vision! Break! <gasps> Enemy data secure. Netmarkers activated. Time for a good old counterattack! A quick divination. <clears throat> Too late to repent. and fleet until I see I will protect all beauty for a drill. all things shift in divination Let's get to it! Two creations prepared for you have been placed in your inventory. Looks like his creation skin is gray. Its filling is pink. And life form of Indy's base traits will all have a chance of being inherited by new creations. Now open life form oven and nurture some creations. Get with the oven. Isn't this a toilet? Wait, 
two creations. I got a gray one. Innocent coconut angel cake. I mean, you just need a piece of trash. <laughs> Bring it back. <laughs> well, this thing ate some trash and then it turned into trash. <laughs> Innocent berry corn chip. What's that on top of their heads? How come eating trash leads to mutations?
Instant Berry Splash Melon. Instant um, Coconut Corn Chip. This guy loves eating maple leaves. Take a photo of it. <laughs> it's either truly like yours, it's five truly like yours. Pooper. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, I wish this thing would go away. I can't even read this now because it's in the way. <laughs> Well, I don't have that. Oh, I guess this is that. Filling is this, and then the pattern would be this. Or this. But then, isn't that the filling, though? Ah, okay, I see. But it doesn't have a pattern, though. Oh, I okay, it's pat not the pattern. Okay, well, we'll see what happens. Cake, sort of. <laughs> to the peaks of March seven. <laughs> Naturally adorable. very pleased with everything here. They have left you with a little gift. What was the gift? <sighs> swish, swish. 
Pa, this is so fun. <laughs> no, thank you. Thanks, you guys have fun without me. so much fun that they completely ignored everyone else present. Trash was scattered everywhere and you could see some creations frowning disapprovingly at the mess. <laughs> Wait, is this a gift he gave me? When? out they can always be put up for adoption. Maybe we can teach them a lesson? Um, I don't like how that sounds. to move them around manually? Should we teach them all about this? Fine, I'll do it. Leave to me. Isn't one play and the other one food? To give me a bonus? Go on, say it. <laughs> After all that, it's still just more about nurturing. Did 
to get that one. Check out the newly designated dining area. Do a good deed and pull out the weeds with your bare hands. <laughs> Dizzy has to like reach out both hands to get started on the weeding process. <laughs> Give it an almighty yank and out of the blue this little thing pushes your hand away before looking up at you with puppy dog. Don't worry, I thought you were all weeds. <laughs> Where'd you come from? <laughs> I think that's a four leaf clover. Flowers can talk to you. Mm, it really is beautiful. <laughs> Going out the way home for it. You found the butler's whereabouts? I know where it is. It's hiding in the seclusion zone. He's here. Peppy knows you're the strongest. Can you come with me? The puppy gazes at you expectantly, tilting its head, its eyes shimmering. Fine, I'll play along. It has to be me, of course! <laughs> puppy widens its eyes, awed by your confidence. Time's of the essence. Let's go! Wait, oh, it, you're following me again. Okay. <laughs> Here? There's nothing here. It's faint, it's faint. Probably no one, no more than 20 heard of system hours. This is a monitoring room. It could be carried by someone who was passing by. What, could have been stored here? <sighs> My puppy brain just can't seem to understand. Let's go and find the butler instead. Let's go and take a look. <laughs> oh, where am I going? No. Uh, I just come here. I'm pretty sure I just came here. Why is this door closed now? <laughs> As you and Peppy turn to leave, the automatic door rises yet suspends awkwardly in midair. Ah, <sighs> the door malfunction again. Is this access control system to be any good? Is this access control system going to be any good? <laughs> I remember that the back end, back, back end, <laughs> the security system controls the opening of doors. Let me go in and take a look. <laughs> Are you the butler? No, you have no authority. <laughs> this guy's attitude is pretty stubborn. I'm not good at communicating. Can you do the take talking instead? Have Peppy give it a sliding tackle. <laughs> Show the name card to the little robot. Have Peppy threaten it with the shutdown button. 
Let Peppy use your name. Wait, what? <laughs> Let me try this one. Sliding tackle? I, I can't do it. <laughs> he lowers its head and stares at the paws, then raises its head and stares at the little robot in the air. <laughs> wave, wave. <laughs> If you refuse to open the door, I will hit your shut down button and force you to turn off. It's threats word. We wouldn't need security robots. <laughs> Even if I am down, the access control system will still not let you pass. <laughs> right. Do you know who have who who you have trapped inside? That is Helia. You should know Helia, the one who has the power to single-handedly take on the Doomsday Beast. If you don't open the door, I will get Mr. Healy to break down this door, shatter your shell with a bat, and smash your chip. That will send sparks down your wiring. <laughs> the little robot creaks as if afraid. It vibrates for an instant in midair before... A Agreed. <laughs> as the control activation is practically told. As the control rights have been transferred, system alert, warning, signs of intruders have been detected across the past three months. What is this? Is that figure the butler? They are working together? What did it do to the access control system? Wait, did it tamper with it? The door is open. I'm going to unsync now, Helia. Hurry up and get out! <laughs> Peppy backing. Are you the butler? Oh my goodness, look at the glasses! <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> Wait, where's his eye? Oh, there's his eyes. Door is locked. Where'd you come from? Ask him about the curio. Are you suggesting that I stole from you? Do you know who I am? How could I have done such a thing? Get out. You're not welcome here. The butler kicked you and Peppy out. <laughs> woof, woof, woof. You want to saunter off, but Peppy stuffs you with its short legs. Peppy looks like it has something to say to you. Oh, I want to transform. Peppy, attack! Don't rush it. This is how I've seen you. Let me go first. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> now, am I supposed to talk to this guy again? Where did this duck come from? Shoot, shoot. This guy seems arrogant. It's hard to find a way to communicate with it. Touch around the area. Maybe there are some useful clues. I think still needs sparkling. What is that? What's that? Oh, oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh. <laughs> A plate of delect delectable pastries. It looks like it hasn't been eaten. It is too wasteful to leave on the table. Peppy tucks it into the backpack. What a thrifty puppy. I wonder if it'll usually pick and eat all the scattered dog food. I wonder if it will usually pick and eat all the scattered dog food. <laughs> okay. uh, and now suddenly it's turned into pancakes. Okay. <laughs> <Fine. laughs> is, is that it? Is that it? Talk to nearby creation to- oh, okay. I don't know, it's better if you ask someone else about it. Okay. <laughs> future future this seems to be an order from the butler. Whoops! Ah, oh, that's- that's hard for me to say. I'll give you a look that indicates the butler did not permit it to say too much. Oh my god, I know. I don't know, it's better if you ask someone else about it. The creature creation refused to communicate you. This seems to be an order from the butler. Okay. Well, I mean I'm I'm talking I'm talking to them, but they're not saying anything. <laughs> Ooh! 
you. I know. Inquire about the butler's secret. I don't understand what you're saying. My tummy's growling. If you can get me a tasty treat, then I might be able to understand. Well, there you go. <laughs> it tastes like the feeling of being loved. This reminds me of the great Miss Moron Minnie. <laughs> this guy is full of hot air, claiming to not need food. Claiming to not need food. It loves to eat fried rice. I have seen it with my own eyes. It hides the fried rice and eats it behind our backs. <laughs> the fried rice is marked by it. <laughs> and that's it. Anyone who smells it can identify it. There's no denying it. This gourmand creation points you somewhere. Oh, okay. Points me somewhere. Alright. <laughs> there's a uh, there's a suspiciously greasy sheen on the leaves and, and the soil and surrounding area. At your command, Peppy extends its short dog paws and skillfully digs into the planting area. A box is emitting an odor, odd aroma. <laughs> okay, so I guess I need that for the butler. Where did this dog come from? Shoo shoo! <laughs> Aww. Okay, investigate the nearby terminal. Terminal? That's where it came from, right? Unlike other terminals, this terminal can control the outside world. Due to data protection, other terminals are limited within the in intranet. Intranet? <laughs> Check usage logs. Forget it. Better not touch it. You pull the terminal's usage logs, but the most recent extra communication logs are empty. Now we can throw it in the butler's face. <laughs> What he has to say. Let's go. I'm going. I'm going. Okay. <laughs> new face, are you? Oh, wait. New face. New face? Question mark. <laughs> are you a space station researcher? Enough of that. Hand over the curio. <laughs> what curio? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> the two of you, on the other hand, there are monsters rampaging outside, and we kept the door locked up all this time. How the two of you get in? Care to explain? You have the one who broke. You are the one who broke the access control. Access control. There never was a monster attack. I'll just call that. <laughs> um, who's saying this? Mr. Butler, is this real? Huh? <laughs> Shh! Hold your horses. I am Miss Ron May's assistant. I am responsible for managing everyone. How could I possibly lie to everyone? Your identity is also fake. Is this true? Quiet. <laughs> Miss Ron May taught me the more you uh, taught me. Okay. Period. <laughs> the more you debate, the clearer the truth becomes. Since we're all here today, let's have a debate. No, please don't. <laughs> Find a second nature to this guy. Today we're going to show him who's boss. Help me, Mr. Helia. Is it just fight? Oh, no. Not the whole debating thing. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, God. I hate these things. <laughs> Can I just fight it? <laughs> Based on the social etiquette that Miss Moran made taught me, I should simply exchange pe pe pleasantries with the new guests. Um, Miss Moran may really taught you this. Yeah, I don't think so. It's not normal etiquette for civilized beings. You don't even know this. I'm not sure what it is about that you dislike, but I've learned patience from Miss Ron May. If you have a problem, then let it be known. Let's hash it out one by one.
don't think that's it. <laughs> well, I mean... Did you know? Miss Ron may have created me using rare material. This makes me innately highly ethical. My character is, unqu is unquestionable. Okay, maybe I can do the present evidence? I mean, I think it should be this one. But, um, okay. Uh, your claim of being of me behaving immorally Deliberately locking the door to trap you when hair is laughable. The access control switch is installed so high that I can't even reach it. Uh, well, I mean, you're all stuck. The thirst towards the unknown is what advances technology. If curiosity is a sin, then I plead guilty. You know that the unlucky creations of Ron made do not seem to be wavering. That's again. Let's see what happens. All right, do I have to? Maybe we can do this then. Wait, I'm gonna look at that one. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> ask access to control. I've never seen this. It piqued my interest when I walked past it, so I touched it. You and I, we are not the same species. The stuffing inside us determines our character and integrity. Miss Ron May's endless pursuit and advancing life forms have led to the creation of the unique being that is me. How unique am I as a fellow Ron May's creation? First of all, Miss Ron May did not wish for me to be affected by lowly physical needs, so I do not need to eat. Ah, that's where this comes in. Right? <laughs> not needing food? What is this? Explain yourself. It has your scent on it, and your kin can all smell it. There's no denying it. <laughs> I really wanted to try what the space station resources would eat. I'm curious, and when you're curious, it's like that. <laughs> Maybe there is something wrong with my ethics, but whatever Ron may assign me, I will do my best. I really have never lied to anyone. She and I have always communicated through the terminal. She trusts me to manage everyone's... Everyone, man. I reported everyone's performance to her, and she's very pleased with me. Mm. Should I continue? Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, which one? Oh, I can't remember now. Oh, I think it's this one. Well, you use a terminal to communicate with her, but the communication history could does not reflect it. I use other equipment to communicate with her. I, I, I use other equipment to communicate with her. <laughs> Never mind. This is the only terminal that can, can that can communicate with the outside world. All the other terminals can only be used on the internet. Internet. <laughs> Good. Let's get that one. <laughs> Speechless. At a loss for words. Your lives have been exposed! <laughs> ah, look at you, distraught. <laughs> Return to Curio. Do you still want to debate over now? Mm. Ah, I know it's my fault and I'm sorry. The thing in, is in the back. You can go get it. There are monsters roaming back there, so I dare not go near. It keeps it silent, staring at the non-existent gaps in the floor, wishing it can hide within. Peppy attempts to communicate with it, but it refuses to respond. Forget it. Don't bother. Let's retrieve the curio. I will unsync first, and you can relax. Peppy, unsinked. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> we want to be friends with it. Aww. <laughs> Get along. <laughs> oh, this way? A 
Until I see, I will protect all beauty for a drill. No matter. Converge and awaken. Wretched and fleeting. Follow my charge. Here, this thunder. Enemy data secured. Net markers activated. Time for a good old counterattack. Do your thing, so they can't do your thing. There's no. <laughs> Stupid bugs. Ready for another? <laughs> Guys are cheating. Just let me do my thing. Gang. <laughs> All things in this world have human creations. <laughs> Battles are chess games. No two are alike. <laughs> you can see the admiration and, pr and appreciation of Peppy's gaze. Peppy sniffs the joy and fil filtration set, its tail wagging furiously. Seems like this must be the missing carrier. Peppy extends a furry paw towards you, hinting you to grab it. Is it panting? Peppy stares at you in bewil bewilderment. <laughs> Peppy stares at you happily. Peppy smiles at you, wagging its tail and signaling you to leave this place together. <laughs> you want me to raid without achievements? Peppy found the joy filtration set. I know you're definitely to thank for this, Helia. Peppy alone definitely couldn't do it. What pitch of wolf is he using? <laughs> Next time you can ask him in person. Alright, enough about Peppy for now. I actually wanted to talk to you about something else today. You go back and talk with the robot helper. It discovered something pretty wondrous near its location. How wonderful. You'll soon, you'll see as soon as you get there, over there. To keep this far, they won't spoil anything. <laughs> anything wondrous happened lately? What's the surprise? Well... The help of robot justice for you to look at the creation by its side. Are you blind? Haven't you noticed how splendid and mag magnificent I am? And you are... You look like Herta. <laughs> You're not the first one to say that. It is the first creation of Ron Maze that asked to... <laughs> <laughs> Let me see this legendary Helia then. Show me what is... What in holy heck people see. <laughs> Take a good look. Hmm. <laughs> Pretty tall. Nice. I didn't just come to see you. I'm researching my origin story, my background, my race, my genes, all of that stuff. Most of it still blank to me. <laughs> Unfortunately, even with this brain of mine, I still can't get the answer I'm looking for. My research has hit a bottleneck, and now I need your help. What bottleneck? I know something about science. <laughs> Don't worry, just listen to this so your ignorance doesn't impede my research. Before I inform you about my mighty research project, I'd like to introduce you to a friend. Wisteria Kick brings over a companion to you. Hello, I'm just here by invite, don't mind me. Like, I made you, you're over here. <laughs> Why did Miss Ron May treat you? <laughs> Not fair. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Shut up. 
You're such a scammer, acting all high and mighty. Don't ever talk to my friend like that again. <laughs> Alright, apart from this arrogant friend of mine who won't quit docking me, don't you feel surprised? Looks a little familiar? Looks like someone I know? <laughs> she and I have very similar traits, which were caused by genetic mutation. But I have no idea as to why I might look like some of these other people you know. But I think it all has something to do with you. Isn't that right, Helium? I don't know. Don't drag me into this. <laughs> I suspect this is all connected on some kind of spiritual level. <laughs> but I have far, far too few samples to research, so that's why I'd like to ask for your help in nurturing more creation with a few more rare traits. If you really can't manage that, then nurture some more ordinary creations I can get by so long as I have enough samples. Your research topic is exactly the same as that of the space station. <laughs> so, Helia, can you think of a way to nurture these rare creatures? This is the last piece of the puzzle remaining for the space station's research program. <sighs> Let me try. <laughs> I'm leaving you. It's fine that the goals are aligned. I have some things for you that you might have find helpful with your nurturing job. <laughs> Is it coffee? Is it honey bean? Alright. Okay, that's Kafka. Who these other ones are, though. <laughs> oh, I guess because I'm like that. Okay. Purple one. And brown? Oh, how a brown one. I try for the filling? Um, maybe this color? Oh, we do have that one! Oh, it's right here! That design though. Okay. What do we have here? Let's go with this one. Or maybe I should go with this one? Purple! Oh, um. Oh? I don't know. I forgot to read the one thing, what they ate. Eh. Oh well, let's go with this. <laughs> oh, you can switch it. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, nope, didn't mean to do that. No. I'll find it, I'll find it. <laughs> okay. A little life form that loves beauty and the color purple. Well, that doesn't tell me anything. <laughs> Where are the... I want to know what these are. 
Do I have that on me? Hello? <laughs> oh, here we go. Metal. This one looks like hay. <laughs> Just says basic ingredient. Thing that looks like yeah this one medicinal herbs okay leaf imaginary oh, what's this one seed so what would be beauty oh yeah these guys mechanical parts um maybe this one or this one but they didn't have that option so Purple, purple. Hmm. I guess it doesn't matter. Okay. Oh, I didn't see this one. What is this, though? Why doesn't it tell me? Wait, no? Oh, and the color pu purple, so I don't know, maybe this one? Did I do it? Did I do it? Yay! I don't know who it's supposed to be though. Other than, I mean, is it supposed to be her time? Yep. These are Madame Ron May's creations. Found one that looks like you! Adam reply. Hi, I am currently unavailable, and I will be contacting you later. Take a look! Even his personality is like yours. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Now. Who is this supposed to be? I don't know. Oh, what do we got? Feathers are a symbol of luck.
No, it still has to be... Oh, man. Lucky snack. Take a photo. Okay, where's this supposed to be? Oh. <laughs> Does it? Does it really? <laughs> Probably not. Look at his hands. Sunclashes are very cool. I'm not sure where I found them. <laughs> Did the wrong thing. Okay. Purple. Oh, do I have a... I thought I had one. That's purple. Oh, there it is. Oh, um, pattern.
<laughs> Ooh, I like that one. <laughs> Bossy. look yeah Radio. Oh. <laughs> okay. She liked science that day. She bought a few psychic with her and told me she wanted to finish a uh, gene sequencing project, requesting that I nurture some creations for her to use for in-depth research. I'm not sure I understand why we're, <laughs> we're so sorry. Yeah, <laughs> about the sidekicks she had with her. Do those also look like other people? Yes, but not that close. Yes, they look exactly the same. I want to see you. It sounds like the little one that looks like her to has some problems. <laughs> it's a very hurted way of doing things. Life is as ephemeral as dew on a leaf, and full of what we strive. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Hey. Oh, no, no, no. Let's do this one. <laughs> or I could do this one now. Oh, this one would be cute with the cream on top. Or frosting. Oh, should I move him? Should I move him? Actually, I was thinking about throwing him over here. Didn't I already have this one over here? Let's do that one.
well, got it around together, didn't they? I shall uphold the principles of... The other two um, say anything together. They're sitting right next to him. No, I'm not gonna find them right now. Let's see what happens. I just Yeah, I saw that one. <laughs> and they were doing, um, they set it over at the table. So, uh. camera. <laughs> oh, oh, I did the wrong thing. Come on, let's snap a group picture. <laughs> oh dear, I did it wrong again.
<laughs> I can't seem to find any archives. <laughs> Make another one of those. Oh, I do. I only have the one. The two, I mean. Aww. I shall uphold the principles <gasps> of knighthood to champion beauty and courage. No, I have I have this one right here, okay. Aww. Number are you? I'm number one. <laughs> Stand in line at attention and number off. <laughs> I was to say something else, but okay. Them up for a stack. I can't hit my tail. <laughs> Ouch. I keep doing the wrong thing. Okay. I feel like we could put on our own variety show with our talents. It would definitely make a good show. <laughs> um. I guess I have to make more right now. Oh, no. I made her. Okay. She's over here. She said, <laughs> What are you still doing here? 
<laughs> it's my turn to speak. I'm here to see him. and fleeting. Follow my charge. Conflict is pitiless. Fighting is me. All things in this world, human creations. It came together. I didn't, or I didn't mean I'm sick of you. I was stuck in that bug stomach for ages. Oh my! And still reek of gastric juices. So, so gross. <laughs> well, I think it has nothing to do with the stuffing ingredients on my head. Basically, the monster seems to be slightly allergic to me, and so it got can't digest my skin. Dizzy. I'm so dizzy. I feel sick. Sorry, I'm filthy. I need to find a place to wash up. Here's a little something for you. Wow, I won't have to stop stumbling around. Thank you, good sir. <laughs> Pure sugar child. <laughs> Clara. I encountered a cute creature that looks just like <laughs> that looks just like Clara. <laughs> Is it a cat? It's so cute! I want to pet her, her little head! Big brother, if we get the chance, can you bring it over to where I am? Next time. <laughs> it's about quite cold, so if it can come over, you should give it a few more layers of clothing, big brother. Can I make more of
you can use that one. Oh, yeah, you can. I've seen a tall robot around here. <laughs> what a coincidence! Is her name also Clara? That's the same thing. Anything different? Robot reporting about some recent happenings. If you're going to take quick photos, it's best to bring in the person who is directly involved. Mm -hmm. May got back just in time too. I just can't find you. I just can't got back from a desolate region to play to a place with signal. <laughs> but a chance encounter. <laughs> I caught up with her. What is it? Send it as an attachment. It will be clear that way. What's this? Let me have a look. <laughs> I've heard that organic life forms are capable of expressing affection at a very rate. These crea creations have exhibited an infinite possibility. Marvelous. <laughs> I didn't expect them to develop such an extent. It's almost like a miniature civilization. They are still in their infancy, calculated per the metrics of organic creatures lifespan. Their society is but in the cradle. In its cradle. Anything you want to say to them? You want to come back and visit them? <laughs> it's enchanting. This might just be my most beautiful accident. Maybe I will visit the space station soon again and visit these little ones. Patients are currently being taken care of by Helia and the help of Robot. If you need anything, please contact me at any time. <laughs> I wanted to use Peppy too, though. Hmm, most certainly. <laughs> oh, you guys are so cute. So would this not have happened with all of these piled up like this if I hadn't found Kulera? <laughs> oh, I'm glad I did that first then. during that lecture. The guy talks so much. Just look at him gives me a headache. Don't say that. It's been so many it's it's been to so many places on the space station that has broad knowledge. Plus Mr. Ron May favors it. But I don't believe it. 
You don't know, do you? This guy's name is Molten Cheese Tart. It's incredibly uncultured, but likes to pretend that it's seen the world. <laughs> Insider? Didn't I just hear about you? Oh, you're the Insider. So please be very, very careful with those thugs under gray bean paste. If we need to take them seriously, we need to. What do I say if? <laughs> it's you. It was you who sent me to that wicked teleporter. Because of you, I lighted on my face and suffered for a long time. I did? I can't remember anything. I'm sorry for being too rough on you guys. <laughs> You just apologized to me. I didn't expect your Noah self would be willing to do that. After all, you're, you're Miss Ronry's assistant, or should I say, deputy. Since you apologized, I'll forgive you. <laughs> what a surprise to see you here. By the way, I have a little secret to share with you. Don't tell the other bad snacks. Please stop addressing me as Molten Cheese Tart in public. Not even Honorable Lord Morton Morton <laughs> Tart. Now I'm called the Inciter. I am one who is wise and well composed. Please call me Lord Insider. Or the wise Lord Insider in the future. As a genius, I figured out all the secrets in this zone, and I'm offering free life advice to anyone. If you run into any trouble, you can come to me. Are you a friend or a foe of Great, great Bean Paste? Why does the name change? What are you doing here? I'm no friend of that loser who's always crying and full of negativity. Don't ask something with such an obvious answer. How is it possible, supposed to gain Ron May's recognition with all that negativity? We don't want it to spread its pep pessimism to other creations. Won't she start? Nope. The one who identifies as the inciter looks at you with a firm gaze. Oh, you're not talking. <laughs> you taught me to be humble. Don't you remember that? Ron May admires you, so I'll listen to your advice and be someone like you. The impression Molten Cheese Tart has left on everyone is set too deep to be changed, not even by a genius like me. So, I decided to go and get a new name and start afresh. <laughs> as long as my changes are, in, are significant enough, Ron May will definitely be moved by my effort. <laughs> I bet no one knows Ron May better than me. The, the I. <laughs> I'm a genius, and I know it should be I. <laughs> it's a shame that most of my peers are too dumb to discern what Ron maybe likes and gravitates to it. So I had to shoulder the responsibility by showing everyone the ways to win over Ron May's favor. Yeah. Just ask me if you're if you're unsure of something. Don't be a know-it-all. Like you. <laughs> I heard that those robots have never been shut down since the day they've been activated. They just keep going. Who did you hear that from? It was super annoyed who, it, who let it slip. <laughs> and I've been watching and found out that they work all day long. Lies. It has to be lies. Impossible. Robots still need to recharge their batteries. Mm. Who did he figure out how to go away? <laughs> Why didn't I figure out how to go far away? Oh, <laughs> not just that. He's the only one of us that can actually talk. Are you looking for him too? I heard he left not long ago. <laughs> we shouldn't bounce from this place ages. We should have bounced from this place ages ago. Staying here is just a waste of life. Guardian of the Domain. <coughs> <coughs> Let me introduce myself. You can call me Guardian of the Domain. Like everyone else, as I'll, walk, I'll, uh, as I'll watch this place till my death. You can probably tell I'm the big wig here for my name. I don't chat with every Tom, Dick, and Harry. And I run into... What? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, I don't, because I, I keep reading things wrong. <laughs> that name is just so awkward. <laughs> no, 
always a reflection of the truth with my strong jumping ability and far-reaching vision, I have the obligation and the cap cap capability to look out into the distance and maintain peace in this place. Do you know how dangerous it is out there? Flying monsters are everywhere, so everyone seeks my help to make sure the out area outside is clear before heading out. I find the way you speak quite assertive from our con con conversation earlier. <laughs> are you sure about that? <laughs> The creation here always flatter me, and I'm on the same wavelength as them. When I talk to you, hmm, how should I put it? I feel like we share a report. Like we're both leaders. This is great. I finally found the right person to share my management plan. <laughs> if you have anything to say or ask, feel free to fire away. Do you know your their leader? Your management plan? What the heck are you watching for? Well, I'll watch this place until the return of Miss Maron May. She's our creator, and I'll keep waiting for her to come back. Wait until I gather all the creations. I'll get everyone to write letters to Miss Maron May every day. Every letter is to include compliments for me, for me, so that Miss Maron May will know how ex excellent I am. <laughs> when the time comes, she'll probably wonder why such an extraordinary talent like me is wasting my time here. Then she'll take me with her and give me her guidance. Of course, I'm not an ungrateful rat. I'll put in a good word for the smart one with Ron May May and Miss Ron. <laughs> Miss. I, for some reason, I saw that as May. <laughs> well, anyone with enough sense would know it, I guess. Miss Ron May spent a long time deciding on my recipe. In the end, she added lots of ambition and self-confidence to me. I'm superior to everyone else. No problem. Let's do this again next time. <laughs> so, is there any other, like maybe over, not there, wait, here? Yeah. Nothing over here? Nobody? Oh, there's these guys. Joseph? Joseph's model? What? <laughs> oh, there's some. Oh, there's Wendy. Oh, well, that's who they were talking about. <laughs> Wendy. <laughs> right, hi there. I um, went for you. Gave me a name. What was it again? Ah, it's Wendy. My name is Wendy. I think Wendy. Wendy. <laughs> you look different from us. Are you a space station researcher? Can you share some stories about your department with me? Tell her about the, your experience at the space station. I'm not a researcher, but I'm greater than one. <laughs> That's awesome. But I'm having trouble following many of the things you said. Alas, if Wenfrey were here, I'm sure she could get it. I wish I was as smart as her. You must be very smart given how tall you are. Has nothing to do with it. Wendy is slightly taller and so much more knowledgeable than me. <laughs> Why are there so many Wens on the space station? Who is this Winfrey? Why are you trying to find out about the space station? <laughs> According to Winfrey, Wren is the official last name of space station researchers. It might be some sort of in initiative ritual for them. Ah. <laughs> uh. I'm saying so many of these words incorrectly, I, I don't even want to put this in a video. You'll be lucky and it's like the... <laughs> corrupted. <laughs> Ms. Renfrey also said that the researchers were all brilliant people. I want to be smart like them, so she gave me both of us a researcher's name. Winfrey is my best friend. We even have a similar peachy scent, though hers is stronger. That's why she's smarter and more knowledgeable than me. Although, we never left this place since we were little. She's able to keep a breath of things. <sighs> if only I were as smart as her. <laughs> when we said it was born in here, that's how I feel too. She also said we could go up to take a, few, uh, take a look at the space station, but we haven't found the route. <laughs> Miss Freshly tells me about the space station whenever she has time, but she's not always free, so... Should I put the one over here? It's 
soon we're going to be cooped up here all day. Everything here is boring. Um, except for Weather Blue and Wendy. Hmm, you look funny. I've never seen such a tall um are you are you that space station researcher that Wubble Woo Wubble Woo 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 talks about? <laughs> it's not my fault I grew up so tall. <laughs> Can't relate. <laughs> I hear that researchers are typically human. Wubble Woo <laughs> says that their caretaker is kind of short, about the same height as us. I'm surprised to see a researcher as Charles you. It's disappointing for me to see the human species being so unstable. It gives the hem of your clothing a serious sniff and frown so oh. <laughs> It gives the hem of your clothing a serious sniff and frowns disapprovingly. The smell on you is quite strange. There's a metallic rusty scent, a faint freshness, and so many different senses. Is this what they call a researcher smell? Yes, Wubbaboo said you guys have to do research frequently. I see now. The space station is really fascinating. Even the smells are so complex. It's like amazing. Unlike me, stuck in this lousy place all day with nothing much to do. <laughs> do you know the... W <laughs> Would you like to visit the other zone? Why are there so many wind on the space station? I heard from the Love of Blue that the Department of e Ecology researcher who took care of it was a kid named Wen... Lao. Or something. <laughs> Many people in that department, old or young, have Wen as their last name. It seems to be a tradition of that department. Do you think it's Wen or one? <laughs> as the most promising life form under Miss Ron May's guidance, I believe I will one day lead the Department of Ecology. So I've changed my name in Van to blend in with everyone else when they big comes. Are you sure you didn't mishear the name? <laughs> I was sure the name is when when the the Liao. <laughs> you can find out for yourself. If you don't blame me. <laughs> she sounds so sure. <laughs> yes, there's a, a Wubbaloo here. I had a chat with it, and it said it sneaked out from some sort of compartment in the space station. It even told me a lot of stories about the space station. Wubbaloo seems a bit slow. That's why it's being manipulated by that pretentious Joseph guy. I pointed that out to Wubbaloo, but. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> but my advice fell on deaf ears. <laughs> As in to sightsee? Oh, please don't treat me like one of those wubba boos. <laughs> I'm nothing like it. I don't spend my days goofing around. I've thought it all through. Based on wubba boos description and my evaluation of my intelligence level, I don't think there's much difference between me and the researchers as mentioned by wubba boo. I'm sure I can be a researcher too. I'm going to security work on my research. If everything goes well, I'll be able to blow Miss Ron May away with my salt. Well, better take your leave. I need some time alone. Asian hero, my hero. Mr. Woo, play with me, Woo. <laughs> I'm here, very familiar. Woo. <laughs> Is it supposed to be making a ghosty sound? Woo. <laughs> when I say woo, it just sounds like it's excited. <laughs> woo. <laughs> How did you end up becoming someone else's model? Where did you just sneak in from? Stranger's here. You should go back. Okay. <laughs> Joseph said, Woo, get down and play. Woo, and I said, Yes. <laughs> Everyone wanted to, Woo, woo. <laughs> Put things on. Woo, me, woo. I said, Yes. <laughs> shuttle, woo. I got stuck in a gap under the shuttle. It hurt a lot. Woo. <laughs> I don't want to play here. I don't want to go back. <laughs> Woo! 
<laughs> I think I've seen you before. You aren't local, are you? Why did you come all the way here to see me? Wait, got something against that? Oh, by the way, do you have an appointment? If not, we'll have to make it quick. I have a busy schedule, you know. Appointment? Do I really need an appointment considering who I am? You are? Joseph suddenly lowers his voice and edges closer toward your ear. He tries to stand on tiptoes with his previously hidden feet, but fails. You have to bend over to make him feel comfortable enough to speak. <laughs> You're a big shot from the space station, aren't you? I'm not making you wait on purpose, and I really have some matters to attend to. Now everyone's counting on me to negotiate with those little tin cans. I can't let them down. Let's talk in private when I'm free. So, can I do for you? Please make it short and sweet. I have all day. <laughs> what are the duties of the special liaison officer? Li liaison, liaison, li liaison. <laughs> what do you usually busy yourself with? How did woo woo woo? Communication and negotiation are my top priority, especially when it comes to bridging the gap between different species and populations. It took me a ton of effort to step the proper di diplomatic relationship with this model by my side. It's also important to reach out to those tin cans, what you people call little robots from time to time. It's quite a hassle. I need you. Eh, I need to press your buttons first to talk to them. <laughs> oh, I have a lot of things to do. We all ruin <laughs> Ron May's creation. Oh, not you, my apologies. <laughs> Someone responsible for facilitating communications within and outside the community. I have to analyze every discussion and then provide advice and suggestions. Don't think I have an easy job just because I stand here all day long. I'm actually snowed under with work every day. <laughs> that that took me off guard. There was a sn snow. What? <laughs> well, that's a long story. Put it simply, I intend to make wubba boo <laughs> model <laughs> that represents our diplomatic relationship with us. <laughs> I'll have those researchers hang advice, advance equipment on wubba boo. Then wubba boo will come back and show the equipment to my people as a friendly gesture. Oh, sure. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think I should stop talking. <laughs> Those are tough to digest. Anything. Hmm, clearly. <laughs> oh, anything. <laughs> you can leave anything you want you don't want with me. I know there's another one. Yeah, there's three of us, but six wounds. Cause they each have two. <laughs> no, they say. Okay. <laughs> this one I did. That's weird. Why does everyone say that we smell like ma Mama's kitchen? <laughs> hey, yummy cakes. <laughs> Play a short. Hurry up. <laughs> That's a hot hand you got tonight. I can't believe it. Will you switch places with me?
Wow, they get along. <laughs> now, don't get into a cat cake fight. <laughs>